This is a big deal. We're celebrating a partnership. The Department of Defense Education Activity and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers are partnering to expand STEM opportunities in K-12 classrooms around the world. Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics are important for our success. And we're here with some very young people, and we're hoping that they get passionate about STEM early on. And he's kicking the ball. These fields of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics are growing rapidly, both in the technology and in the science behind them. And so a partnership with the Corps of Engineers and their experts help really catapult the knowledge that our teachers bring in the classrooms and enliven the experiences of our children. Experiences that bring science to life. This um, school year has kind of gotten me interested more in mathematics and engineering type of studies in the future. You get to creatively uh, build with your hands. Like, it's not anymore just simply solving math problems. These hands-on activities give students the tools to succeed. It helps us understand how to think. Yeah. Do you think you have to remove payload to make it level? How to create how to analyze information, how to collect data, how to apply that to a real life experience, and to, um, and to have a process to th think through a problem. These fundamental skills are vital and help to build an important talent pool. There are 100 graduates, let's say, 100 college graduates from the United States each year. Of those graduates, four will be engineers. If you look at Russia, the number is 10. If you look at China, the number is 31. We rank in the bottom 14 as a country. We need these great STEM graduates to assist us in doing the technical work that this nation needs. This partnership is a step in the right direction in terms of national education priorities, preparing students for 21st century careers and fostering a positive learning experience. I had the STEM class that we have and I realized it was really, really fun. <laughs> Mary Cochran Smith, Quantico, Virginia.